Hi everybody, this is Catherine, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in the new enlisted game. They added a lot of different parameters inside of the game, so now it's kind of it's well optimized. Honestly, you can run definitely this game uh, well and with an high uh, FPS uh, amount. Um, yeah, so that's about it. So we will start with Windows. Uh, the first thing that I recommend is the game mode, right game mode in your search bar. Make sure that game mode is at on. I saw an improvement with game mode at on on this game. I saw like 3% boost in my FPS. After that, the Xbox game bar, make sure this one is at off. Uh, really important. It's causing stuttering. And don't use any overlay, the one from NVIDIA or AMD. Don't use those record feature also. Uh, make sure that everything is at off and it will help you a lot with your FPS. After that, uh, you can close this. Uh, the other thing that you will need to use is the graphic setting, right? GPU. So this is, first of all, you need the latest version of Windows. So it's really important to have the latest version. And also you will need an NVIDIA card 1000 series or above. Uh, you will need to uh, log the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Put this one at on. On low end and mid end co computer, you will have like 3% boost in your FPS. But if you have like an high end computer, you will not necessarily see a difference, but it's still good to activate it. And uh, when you do it, you will need to restart your computer to make sure that uh, the parameter is applied. One more thing, make sure that you have the latest driver, NVIDIA, AMD. So just do your update, power plan on Windows, make sure that you're using performance and also make sure that you're using performance on your power plan on your GPU. So AMD or NVIDIA use high performance. So now let's go inside of the game. So now inside of the game, so go to your option, uh, go to graphics setting. So this is pretty much where you have all the parameter. The first thing that you really need to make sure, make sure that you're playing the game in native resolution. So depending on your uh, monitor. After that, really important to play this game in full screen. I saw a lot of issue with the window in the full screen window. So really important to go with full screen. After that, if you have NVIDIA DLSS, Go for it. It will give you a like 45% boost in your FPS. So really important if you have an RTX card. Go with quality because I did a couple of tests. Uh, ultra performance, performance and balance. Honestly, it's not clean. It's It feels a little bit blurry, the game. So go with the quality one and it will help you a lot. If you don't have the DLSS, so we're going to remove it. Make sure that your resolution scale is at 100%. Don't go, don't go lower. It will decrease a lot your image quality. And go with anti-aliasing quality at low. Very important. Uh, you will get like 3% boost for each bracket. And honestly, the anti-aliasing in the game feels a little bit blurry to me. So I prefer to go with low. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, if you have uh, reflex low latency, you can definitely go to boost. I did a test between on and boost and I didn't see a difference in my FPS. I remember uh, the boost one on Warzone, I was losing FPS, but I didn't see a difference in this game. So you can definitely go with the maximum. After that, uh, FPS limiter, I just put this one at off. Texture quality, if you have like 3 gig of VRAM and more, you can definitely go at high and 16. If you have like something like 2 gig, go at 4x medium. And if you have less than 2 gig of VRAM on your video card, go with 2x and low. After that, the uh, enhanced texture filtering, you can definitely put this one at maximum. Again, if you have, you're playing on a, an integrated video card with one gig, maybe like go lower, but it's not like you will not have a big impact here if you have a nice amount of VRAM. Shadows from effect. This one is really important. Oh, uh, sorry. We'll start with shadow quality. Shadow quality, 4% boost for each bracket. So you can definitely get like a nice 8 to 10% boost here. And remove the shadows from effect, you will get another like 3 to 4% boost in your FPS. So, really important. Global illumination, uh, illumination quality this one, you can get like a nice 2% for each bracket. So, again, if you want like uh, visibility and stuff, definitely just go everything at low. Uh, it will help you a lot and it will be clear, clearer. But if you want a nice image, the image quality, I feel like medium is a good uh, middle ground. Atmospheric scattering, this one can give you a lot of FPS again. It's 4 to 5% for each bracket, so definitely go to low. Ambient occlusion, same thing, 3% for each bracket. I go to low. Uh, improve, improve reflection, this one caused me a lot of stuttering, so that's why I uncheck this one. 
Um, yeah, because it's you're not necessarily get like more FPS uh, when it will be unchecked, but uh, you will stabilize a lot your FPS. So if you're getting some random drop, uh, probably because of this one. Water quality, this one I go to low. I, te I did a test high to low. Again, it's more stability. You will have like a nice 3 to 4% boost in your FPS, but you will stabilize with your FPS. Tyrant uh, Tessellation, this one, uh, I'm getting high to medium. I'm getting 3% boost here. Medium to low, I'm getting 1%. So that's why I'm going with the middle ground. Medium is a good compromise here. Dynamic Terrain Deformation, put this one at off. It will help you a lot. High resolution visual effect, uncheck this one. Raindrop on screen, uncheck. You want better visibility. And uh, for the scope image quality, just go to low. So with this, honestly, you should have a nice amount of FPS. Me, I have a lot of FPS because I'm using the 2070. Uh, and I'm using um, 200, for, uh, 200 for on, 240 Earth's screen so i need a lot of fps to make sure that i'm running my uh, proper earth's amount but uh honestly if you tweak this game you have a lot of different options you should you will not have any issue and if you want like nice graphic and you have dlss just put everything at max and with the dlss normally you will have your 60 or your 144 uh earth's uh, easily uh it's, it's it's kind of well optimized so uh you will not have any issue with it so if you have any question, guys, just come in in the YouTube section, post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. Make sure that you add a question with it. Sometimes people just like throw their uh, rig without any question. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.